Ciao guys and welcome back to Lempis. If I think about this time last year, we were at home with my family, we had an amazing Easter time and yeah, this year is not possible so for the first time since we've been together we're going to spend Easter alone here in our apartment. It's also the first time or the longest we've ever stayed in our apartment doing nothing. And you know, since shutdown, I kind of uh, just went back to being a wife, being a wife, yes, and doing, you know, what usually a housewife would be doing at home. That's what I want to share with you today. So what I'm going to cook for my men today. I hope it's going to turn out right. He's already kind of giving a disapproval, <laughs> disapproval expression. You excited about me cooking for you today? Are you going to cook? I am going to cook. No, I'm going to cook. What are you going to cook? Something to surprise you. I'm going to cook things for Easter. <laughs> Traditional Italian <laughs> oh food God. for Easter. May I don't know about you. May I please cook for you something today? Lunch? Yeah, you can uh, Absolutely, not Easter, so you can still cook something. But me, I'm going to cook Italian delicacy for, for Easter for okay, tomorrow. So East, I shouldn't be cooking anything. Easter is already reserved by the chef. I'm going to make something special. I wasn't even thinking about something Easter, or just Easter related. Mm. I was thinking about something delicious. Amazing, tell me. No, it's going to be a surprise. Oh, I'm so. Invention. So... Lempis invention. Be prepared. Super. <laughs> like, you know, I'm excited. It's been also a while when I really got in the kitchen and do something. I love about on the mm. Do I really love cooking? Yes, I do actually love cooking. Do we still have flour? And Al is very busy trying to make sure that we have a nice traditional Easter holiday regardless, like all the traditional no, Italian recipes. Colomba. So if it's me cooking, expect something super simple and easy and also healthy. So I have cabbage. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this. And I would say, Ali was already insisting like, what are you going to do with this? I have no idea, but I said I was going to surprise him. So he's probably expecting something more. Ah. Did you wash your hands? Yeah, I'm going to wash my hands now in the sink. <laughs> no, wait, in the other sink, please. So, Apart from cabbage, I also want to prepare the lard chops. We got this yesterday. Let me just use. Four, because we can't, we're not going to cook all of this at the same time. One. You already probably saying you say it healthy. Yeah, my healthy version still have meat in it. Yes, yes. Chef, are you excited? I'm really excited. Really, really excited. It's been a while when last I cooked for you. I can't even remember. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> it's been. And that's bad. I think the last two years, I since I started working intensively, I haven't been really doing much of a wife. Mm. But this is getting me. When are you going to start making after lunch? Okay, good. That is amazing that I have all the kitchen to myself to prepare something delicious for Bobachina. So, pork. No, it's not pork. This is lamb. Actually, quite bigger than I thought. You wanna have some olives? Uh... Okay, I'll take that as a no. Thank you. So for this, I'm going to make a simple Italian marinade. All right, pepper. And of course we have here some dry sage leaves. Okay, not all of that, but a bit. And you know, just show it some love. Marinate, marinate. Mm. 
marinade. I was going to go with potatoes, but I changed my mind. So now I'm making Italian porridge from yellow maize. And then in the other pot, I'm cooking cabbage and this is going to be for the meat. Bubuccino! I'm just probably sleeping because my cooking takes like forever. This is why I don't cook. Often, oh, I don't cook a lot of things other than pasta and porridge. My kitchen table is clean, even though I just prepped for the lunch, which is very nice. And also, my kitchen today is in order. It is actually ready. I'm just gonna scoop it here and go in immediately with a. Yes, that's my secret because I want it. Evenly distributed, and I'll sh show you later on why I wanted it this way. I want this perfect. The I want it to brown it. I just see it on either side. Okay. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the cabbage at all. No idea. I think I'm just gonna sell it like that. That's a little appealing. It doesn't taste anything special. So yeah, that's all what it is. Plenty, simple, and healthy. Okay, we'll prep. You know, it's during the crisis time, I just cut this in half. Let me show you what I'm going to do to my polenta or Italian porridge. Two hours of preparing delicious food. Yeah, but if it's worth it, I'm happy to wait. <laughs> That's every, but everything that I got. The sauce for the porridge, the cabbage and then the porridge so yeah i showed you already how i cut it piece of meat oh i don't have enough sauce and I'm in our sauce is between the porridge. I grew up eating porridge, I can actually have porridge without the sauce. For me, it's not a problem. It's not really coming together very well, and now I have no idea where to put the cabbage. But, important thing first is. Shots. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. So, uh -huh. what do you think? Your side is here. My Where side is here. Yes, everything already prepped. Oh, I messed up your spoon. Oh, it looks nice. It looks nice. So, so far, so good. 
yeah, you still have to try the food. But I think I didn't do bad. It took a little bit longer than you usually take, but I didn't do. It looks nice at least. Let's it taste. Nice. I didn't do a lot of tasting. Let's <laughs> hope it's going to taste good. Definitely impressed. While I'm looking at you preparing a party on lentils. Mm, on a scale of 1 to 10. Oh, spicy. Too spicy? I don't know if it's too, but it's really spicy. Really? Mm -hmm. Sorry. You need marula oil. Anything will be fine. Marula oil, well, I think, would fit well. It's so nice. Nice, but it's a little bit too spicy. Okay. And of course, you know, if you're Namibian, don't mind the plastic, it, I had to transport it this way. Bit of marula oil. Mm. Marula oil is always nice. Scale, I can see Buchino is enjoying the food I've prepared on a scale of 1 to 10. I will give it um, between 7.5 and 8. Okay, let me take the 8. I will, I will give you the 8. Okay. Because I'm, I'm really. Because I love you. Oh, maybe because the food is actually it's nice. No, the food is good, but actually, you, in my opinion, you should use uh, the pressure cooker to cook the meat because even though it's really tasty, it's a little bit uh, still fiber and hard to chew. And the other things you overspiced a little bit, just a bit. Is like too much pepperoncino here. You know, you can get away with this as long as still shut down time. But I mean, I'm doing scarpetta like uh, <laughs> Herrero style, <laughs> yeah. Ugambo style. Yeah, but also look when, when Ali is eating porridge, how many paper towels are around? <laughs> I'm not used to it with my hands. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's do a little bit more practice. Okay, well, it was really nice. Thank you. That is dessert. Amazing. I am ready for you. I am ready for you. Talismano de la felicidad. Oh. So we have something healthy. Somebody was snacking on the. <laughs> Why? Like they said. No. No. I see there are some things missing here. <laughs> and of course, I'm a teeny. I like big, big body on a big, big. <laughs> Seriously. You like a big, big booty? Then why are you with me? I like me, you have a big booty. Uh, now you have a big booty, yeah? Yeah, now in the crisis. <laughs> because no, I've been home. Better. If you have a big, big booty. That's why I've been trying to make light lunch for you like that. Like this one. <laughs> light, oh, simple yeah. and healthy. Lemon is special. Yes. Simple way to eat a mango is do it this way, like you're in the tropics. And yeah. So she likes to eat it with ants. If I can, I eat it like that. European style. European style. If I can make it. Yeah, you see? Simple. Elegant. <laughs> Stop. What? You just say elegant? Mm -hmm. mm. Remember when we went for a dinner? Mm -hmm. At the elegant dinner in uh, Lago di Garda. Ah, the gourmet. That was interesting. I, I'm not a fan of. I would never want to pay my money to go for an elegant dinner thing. No, it's not about elegant. It's about gourmet. Yeah, but it's it's like when you go to this elegant event, that's what you get. But but you like portion control. You know, that's what yeah. you get. Yeah, but that should also come with the 
like I don't want to pay for I mean we got like a spoon of cauliflower puree and things cost really a lot and then we got this thing that was called on the menu says tomato powder it was like a pinch of chili <laughs> chili powder on the plate and then you have the guy wearing a suit and a tie explaining everything to you that you have to tip yeah but that is the kind of uh, Not for me. of restaurant that I really don't enjoy I love the wine though, they have amazing wine mm -hmm. but I would prefer to have, you know like uh, kartoffel fries, like, you know, like sweet potato fries things, I don't know, I just I want to enjoy things I can't make at home And when I'm paying, mm -hmm. I want to see that I have a portion. I'm not saying give me a lot of food, like, uh, but a normal portion, like, <laughs> I don't know. A, a no human portion. A no yeah, a human portion. How do you know the restaurant is good if the food is not well decorated? Probably the cooking is more authentic. <laughs> Because usually when the food is more photoshopped, really mm. decorated, the plate look extremely good, then they're probably compromised. You know, they're trying to cover something else, which is the taste. Probably. And at the end of the day, I'm paying for the food. I don't want to pay to for you know the decoration on the plate that I can. Asian restaurant with their decoration. <laughs> With their monster vegetable carving thing. Like you get two monster carrots that are covering your plate that you cannot even eat. Overall experience? Let me in the kitchen. Hmm. Nice. Now, nice. nice. Mm -hmm. You can be in the, in the kitchen now, I will allow you. <laughs> this is like the most like we don't have this in Namibia. This is like really monster mangoes i would say at home we have kind of thinner you can't at home you mean namibia because oh, in, you mean in italy i don't know in italy i've never seen mango me neither so at home is only where namibia so why are you asking not in germany neither because there are no mangoes here they come from i don't know senegal South America or so. Okay, I would specify Namibia. At we home? don't. No, I'm in Namibia. I'm sure everybody watching knows where is home for me. Anyways, we need more light. We need more light. That was it from us today, or mainly from me, because I was like chilling with you all for two hours in the kitchen. Me, I was the customer. I was just eating. No, but before that, you were just like. For the first time, you left the kitchen for two hours completely just in the bed and you didn't ask anything about the music. I mean, I also wanted to cook, but there is no space, so I eat. <laughs> now the kitchen is yours. Mm -mm. I'm going to go. And mm. what do you guys think? How did I do? You did, you did well. Yeah, but I also want to hear from the audience. Leave that in the comment. Where does the comment come? Somewhere here below. If you enjoy this video, Give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and most important guys, stay at home and be safe.